You are now tuned in to Music, Men, and My Mental with your host, C. Devone, tackling all things career, relationship, and your overall health. Trifecta. Let's get to it. Let's start the show. Thanks for tuning in to Music, Men, and My Mental. I am your host today. I am DJ C. Devone, and we are all things career, relationships, and your overall health. And today I have a very special guest. Her name is Raval Davis. Did I say it correctly? It's Raval. I mean, Raval Although Davis. Every, I call her V. Sorry. Her Raval, yeah. Raval. What's up? Davis. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can go into many things about you, but you know, this is about career relationships and your overall health. And you yes. embody this and tell the people who you are. Oh, thanks. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you who embodies all of this. <laughs> also. Um, I, I'm Raval Davis. People call me V. My, my yes. friends, people that know me call me V. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people call me Raval that have oh. known me for like decades. Right. And I'm, I'm cool with that too, you know. Um, but I am an actress. I'm a body positive advocate and I'm a host. Yes. Yes. Lots um, of personality. Yes, it's yeah, good. Yeah, and, and, bit, and, not, not, and that was in a good way, like <laughs> lots of personality. I was like, wait, that came off like shady, but like lots of personality. Lots of personality. Which is, uh, we'll go into all these other topics, but... Um, I love your story because like you just did like a whole career change. So like mm-hmm. you didn't just wake up and one day was like, I'm going to be an actor or you kind of just did or like, like tell them about that. Yeah. So crazy enough, I actually always wanted to be an actor. Okay. Um, I went to an acting conservatory in high school and in college, really wanted to do it. Mm-hmm. Right. Like I was going to be an actor. That was going to be my thing. Mm-hmm. I, I was good. I was really good at it, you mm-hmm. know? Um, I went to one of the top conservatories in the country. Mm. Won't shout them out because I'm about to tell all their business. Mm-hmm. So um, <laughs> the woman who ran the program um, there, she was a white woman, mm-hmm. and which is, is typical. People who go to conservatories, people of color will, find, will tell you. It's a very isolating experience. Mm-hmm. And um, they have this thing where they call you in and they ask you, like, what do you feel your type is? Mm-hmm. And at the time, there were really type only... Type, like in for typecasting. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, what's your type? Are you a leading man? Are you, you know, like all of these things. Are you okay. more Tom Cruise? Are you more, you know, all that. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Yes, there were only two black women really on TV mm-hmm. and in film at this time, which was Angela Bassett and Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm neither one of their type. Okay. I do not have the Angela Bassett mm. arms. I do not have the Halle Berry anything. <laughs> so that was it. And so her whole thing was like, well, you know, you need to lose. I want to say, I. she said 30 pounds. Oof. And I was in college, right? So, I was so we were still able to say that college weight be on it. <laughs> snatched, girl. Mm-hmm. Like waist was cinched, mm-hmm. you know. Everything was in the right place. So okay. All right. Um, but this was just like, you know, someone not understanding my body type. Okay. And to her, my body type looks like, girl, you fat, you need to lose weight. Right. But she just saw an ass and was like, yeah. listen, girl, right. stop eating. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but she don't realize it don't matter how much I stop eating. That ass ain't going it nowhere. Ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you know? And right. that's a truthful, relevant experience. It needs to be represented on TV, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And now I know that. But at the time, I was very young and impressionable. And so... She said this to me. She's like, listen, you're a black actress. There's already not a lot of jobs for you guys. Um, and then, you know, you need to lose weight or you're not going to work kind of thing. Okay. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to go be a journalist. Shut up. Yeah. Like, okay, I thought you were going to say, like, I, I thought the story was going to go somewhere else. Like, you yeah. know, so I went and I just got, you know, I, I, I fought against the eating grain disorder. And, or, <laughs> I, thought you was, I, thought, I thought it was going to, I had an eating disorder. I was or like, something. oh man, you stopped no. eating for a month. No. Like, what the hell? Mm-mm. You just were like, let me just be a, what the? Yeah. Into- I was like, wow. I believed her. And and because I had, this is my second wanna, conservatory experience. So I'm ready but, to find her. Don't even, right? don't even give me her That's why I say I'm not going to shout her out. Okay. And I'm not going to make her famous. So <laughs> you become a journalist. Like you just were like, man, I'm just going to go on Monsters and Monsters where the older jobs were at that point. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to monster.com and just like be a journalist. Well, I always, I love to write and I've always been a writer. That's a thing that I've always done too. Like when I was younger, it was more creative writing. Um, Mm -hmm. And when I got to college, it became more journalism. So I ran the school newspaper and I Mm -hmm. met 
other journalists who were working, one of um, them being Alfred Edmond, who Mm -hmm. at the time ran Black Enterprise and kind of took me under his wing a little bit because he ran the same school newspaper that I ran when um, I was there, when he was there. So, yes, that was kind of my introduction into first first job first career did an internship at vibe with mm-hmm. so many yes go, let's go into your i mean because for someone who had this you know i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna be a journalist you had a really really lovely career that was just crazy for you to just see you know we'll go into the halt and going back to what you know but you know you were flourishing so go into like okay i decided cute. to be a journalist and then you were like what happened <laughs> it was cute it was a cute uh gig it was fun um so first first job was Vibe. Mm-hmm. Then I went to W Publications, which is Hype Hair, Today's Black Woman, mm-hmm. Black Men's Magazine. Um, I was on Run's House. I saw you there. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, you were in a board. You were like in a boardroom, yes. like getting things done. Yes. Like, but what was your job there? Because you were working with uh, with the- Angela Simmons. We created the Rundown. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> But we I, I just down. have so many questions, but yeah, so you're there, you're <laughs> flourishing, and then like at the top of your, you know, journalist, you know, Something your career, that. what what would you say was the top of your Oh, career? top of my career, oh, was definitely probably being the entertainment editor at Honey Mag. I used to love Honey. Yeah, right? That was a really good yeah. magazine. Mm. It was like fashion forward. It was she, yes. you know, because at that time, Essence was, uh, you know, catering towards an older audience mm-hmm. and Honey was basically getting the younger, like the right under, you know? Mm-hmm. So Exactly. Um, it was speaking to us. It was speaking to us. Because nobody had been, you yeah. know? So, yeah. <sighs> you Rest know, we had, like, I want to say that was Nicki Minaj's first cover that we did. Wow. Maybe Solange's first cover. Like, we were so ahead of the curve, led by Chanel Odom, who's mm-hmm. an amazing journalist, mm-hmm. um, who I initially met at Vibe. And, yeah, it was just, it was a good time. So you're you're flourishing, and then you say... Well, girl, there were many transitions. Oh, okay, <laughs> well, go, let's go there. into them. Let's go into them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so of course, you know, print is no more. Digital is running everything. Mm-hmm. Honey goes under. Mm-hmm. Every publication is going under. You're going to get your check, and they're like, "Yeah, the doors are locked." Um, yeah. So, like, multiple companies yes. still owe me money to this day. Okay, let's um, yo, let's come after. They were like, but the, the teacher. <laughs> The publications, we after everyone today. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm here for you. Mm-hmm. We after them. So they owe you money, <laughs> and everything's, you know, it's a recession, basically. Yes, but the recession. The print happened and a little print, bit before yes. everything uh, else. Print died. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, transition. I'm a girl, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm a transition. So because I was the entertainment editor at um, Honey, I learned a little bit about digital, and that really started my digital career. So I started working in digital. Went to Condé Nast. Um, mm-hmm. Let me stop t- saying all these company names because I might tell Listen. some some issue about them in a minute. So let me let me stop throwing out all these companies. Listen, can name drop, but then you don't have to say what company it was. I was at right. You know, I one was of at, these very affluent companies yes. didn't pay me. Just kidding. <laughs> well, no, yeah. that was not Con- Conde. Does I pay. know. Yes, they do they, pay. Yes, um, they've got some other things going on. But um, yes, so. Yes, they went there, went to another uh, prestigious company, went to like a, a management company. Okay. Um, from there, went to the music industry, worked at the label. And that was a very interesting. I hear this all the time. <laughs> I Everyone's like, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm one of those people that told her, don't do it. Don't do it. I, I was like, I want to go to a label. Nah, no, no, girl. No, you, don't. You, you love yourself, don't you? You deserve more. <laughs> You deserve better. You literally text me. You deserve more. No, I was like, okay. <laughs> so you're there, and then what was the breaking point of? I just can't do this anymore. Yeah. Um. So I actually did Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within, oh my which gosh, I yes, know he's I in trouble right now, and I'm not here for for all of the, his recent activities. But I will Ooh, say, what trouble he in? What he do? Oh, you you haven't heard. About okay, girl. We not, we we don't G- give me give me the cliff notes. So he's had two incidents now. Because I know, I mean, is, is it the fire or was it other things outside the fire? 
Walking on oh, the fire. Oh, walking on the fire. <laughs> it's outside of the walk on the fire. Walking on the fire is great. I walked on the fire. It changed my life. Um, wow. But yes, he also. If you guys don't know, you yes. have to walk on fire. It's like, it's like a test of faith to see if like you are strong enough. You have willpower and you can like, you can do anything kind of thing. You right? can do anything. Got gotcha. you. And you walk on heated rocks or coals or something. Yeah, they're right? coals that are on fire. Yeah, you walk across it. So if you don't know, but. Yes, but this is not the trouble that he's in. He's in trouble because of what he do. He's in trouble because, for one, there was a woman who was, like, sharing her experience of mm-hmm. being um, sexually assaulted oh, in one of his... And, you know, they film all all of his conferences. Mm-hmm. And his approach to her, and this is... And I haven't watched it recently, but he his, his uh, response to her, mm-hmm. not appropriate. Oh, um, then also recently... There was another, and I forget exactly, because I didn't actually watch the footage. I read a story about this. Okay. Where um, he basically called, he kept, he said the N-word multiple times to a person of color and basically said, if that word is going to get you, you know, mm-hmm. livid, then the person who says it controls you. And he just okay. starts saying okay. it over and over and uh-huh. over and over again to do, and I'm like, he he's pushing the envelope. Um, he can't find no one else to say it. <laughs> you should, like, he should have like, picked like something I, else. I, I, I get the point Another of what you're topic. trying to do, I, but I, I hear like, you. Hold on, I want to say, hold on. Uh, can I get a, any black person in the crowd? <laughs> right, you know, <laughs> like can on. we talk? Pick someone else. Pick pick, pick a different else. topic. Oh, God, <laughs> you know. Sheesh. Um, yeah. So all of those things he has going on. But so you go to the retreat. And yes, I did. Then you just say, I got to change my life. So, yes, um, he has this part of his retreat where he takes you through a meditation. Okay. And it's like a negative meditation, right? Okay. Strange, right? No, I, I've heard of it. I went to, what's a momentum? And I think you they do, do this. It's not called uh, negative. I don't think he but, calls it that either. Yeah, but I it's call like, it think of all this bad shit. And you're like, oh my God, I hate everybody. My mother did this. And yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 well yes it's kind of like that um mm-hmm. so it's like a ne- negative meditation where you envision your life if you allow yes. your limiting beliefs to control your life and you never pursue the things that you want you i just go got after- devastated thinking about that right. holy cow just in two seconds yeah yeah like so- you never go after the guy you like you never go after the job you want the career though you know and you literally think about it. he's like so where are you now are you in your same apartment have you been evicted Is you, did your dog die <laughs> Shit. you know and i'm sitting there like dang i'm in my same apartment one bedroom my dog is dead Oh, oh, no. I'm walking up the steps because it's a walk-up. Of course, because it's a New York City six-floor walk-up. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like, I'm like, this is sad. I'm un- I'm unwed. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it's just sad. But it, it it did it for me. Like, it was just like, oh, I got to go pursue gotta live. my dreams. Got gotcha. you. Now. Like, ASAP. Um, and so I did take another job after that, but... I took that job knowing that I had a greater purpose okay. and I really needed to do what was in my heart. Okay. So, uh, but then you quit. You were like, I'm out here. I'm yeah, out. I was I'm out. good. I'm deuces. Out. I'm out to be an actor. Yeah. Tell that story. You just were like. So I met my friend Nita because she has this get together and she's always been telling me my whole, since our in an entire friendship, mm. you know, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I want to, if I, she, oh, she would always ask me, what would I do if I knew I couldn't fail kind of thing? And I would always say, I would be okay. an actor. I would uh-huh. be an actor. And she'd be like, well, you need to be doing that. And I would always be like, girl, you don't know. You Can don't get it. Can we say that for the people in the, ba- people in the bag? What would you do mm-hmm. if you know you weren't going to fail? If you knew you weren't going to fail. You just fail. were going to be successful. If you knew, like, you could try anything, do anything, and you would be a success at it. Okay. What would you be doing? Because that's probably the thing that you love. Right. Right? And so if you can say what that thing is, then it's probably what you should be doing. Ooh. Look at us just cracking up. That was so deep. I mean, okay. Right. right. Anyway, so then she... She 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 would always say this to me because she's one of those people that's real deep Mm -hmm. all the time. Right. So she's, 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 (laughs) she's, she's giving you life and then now... You've already, you've been building up this stamina though, because you've already went to retreat, you knew you was right. getting a strategy with this job and now you're like, okay, I've yeah. got this thought in my head and then. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, so I'm still like, every time she says that I'm still like, 
yeah, but you don't understand. You're not a black woman. You don't uh-huh. get it. It's uh-huh. hard for us. Da, uh-huh. da, 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 telling her on. She's just like, okay, girl, whatever, mm-hmm. you know. And so I'm at her house at this event. And one of her friends, her crazy friends, and crazy mm-hmm. in a good way friend, right. um, is like, so what's going on with you? Hi. She's like, has so much energy. She's like, hello. Ooh, and scary. I'm like, they scare. She's, she's definitely scary. Because mm-hmm. they never have like eyes that are just like scary eyes with them. You're like, like, <laughs> like they're looking into <laughs> like your you soul. you mad making me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and she looks straight into myself. She's like, what's going on with you? Hi. Right. right. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, I'm good. And she's like, no, what's really going on with you? Like, she did the look in. She did the deep, like. And bitch, back up off me. And the way she did it, I was just like. You felt it. Well, I'm thinking about being an actor. I knew you must have broke down. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking about being an actor and I don't really know, you know, what to do and whatever. And she was just like, oh my God, you have to do this. I feel this right now. She was, she just like did all the things. And so I was like, well, you, I don't really know what I'm doing. And actually one of her, I think her brother is like a producer, screenwriter. She was like, okay. well, I'm going to connect you with him. Oh, Mind wow. you, I don't think she ever did. But <laughs> this moment is still important because she's yes. the one who said, she was like, you know so many people in the industry. She's like, you just need to tell them that you want to be an actor. And I'm like, girl, they're going to look at me like I'm crazy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay? And she's like, no, you need to send out an email. And I'm like, so that's where the idea of the email mm-hmm. came from. Okay. She's like, you need to send out an email to everyone you know and tell them you want to be an actor and tell them you need their help. And I'm like, that's a good idea. Okay, okay I'm going to do it. She's like, all right, when are you going to do it? I'm like, ooh. And, account- ooh, that's, and that's, accountability. That's like, I'm crazy. She, she was crazy. a good friend. That was that was the gods coming down and talking to <laughs> it you. It was straight you needed that up cra- you, intervention. I you know, that we're crazy. Sagittarius, so we need people to be like blunt and yeah. be like, okay, <laughs> yes, you need a yes. slap for the face. Like <laughs> I always say, God, give me a sign, a big sign. It'd be like <laughs> the sign is like <laughs> right, it's smack in the face. So wow, that's crazy. So then you finally do it, right? Mm-mm. Oh girl, come on! I know, right? <laughs> So it's like Monday and she's like, did you send it? It's like Tuesday. It's like a week, two weeks roll by and I'm doing all of that. And I'm like, girl, can you back up off me? I have not sent the email yet. Okay. She's, she's following up with me. Wow. Mind you, while this is happening, I wrote a story for Essence about Orange is the New Black. This is what happened. It really forced me to write the email. So I wrote a story about Orange is the New Black Mm -hmm. and how Orange is the New Black had inspired me to act again because of all of these women that looked like me. And this was my first time really Mm -hmm. seeing that many women that looked like me that were my reflection on a major television show. I was like, oh. Oh, mm-hmm. so we really can't, it like helped right. me, it, it broke yeah. through my limiting beliefs even more. Mm-hmm. Like this lie you've been telling yourself that you can't be an actor because you're a curvaceous black woman. It's a lie, sis. Like, okay. you know, mm-hmm. it was that. And so I wrote a story about that and how I had been inspired to act again. Mm-hmm. And it finally, I sent it in to my editor and it got delayed for some reason. Uh-huh. And I wasn't really you know, inquiring about why. But finally it got published. She just sent me an email like, hey, your story's published. Right. And I'm like, oh. Right. I said I was inspired to be, I'm not acting now. Let me send out the email. Uh. So then I sent out the email like, hey guys, wrote this story in essence because I'm inspired to be an actor Oh, so you you didn't even know. Your alignment was there. It was like boom, 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 boom. Because, I mean, you were procrastinating, but like the, the reality is such a strategy because- it's you have a published piece of work to be not like, hey guys, this want to act, you know, you know, anybody giving my headshots. It's like, well, since I'm writing and I'm a successful journalist, <laughs> you know, I you guess. see, you see my work ethic, you know that I really mean this, and I actually wrote about it. Yeah, you can read it. So that's true. That probably validated it to a, a yeah. Certain, oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, opposed. To I didn't just, think that through at all, yeah. though. Just sending a text with, "Hey guys, I just want to act. If you hear some gigs, let me know." But that's where I was, like mentally and emotionally, I was. Oh in yeah, the that's space. what you wanted to do, but the star just aligned for you because yeah. you were procrastinating, but you didn't realize that there was a strategy. You know, just being that was bigger than you. Yes. Oh, look at us just My, speaking life over here. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's my dope. GPS system, right, right. aka God. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you say, oh, you always say God is your agent, right? I say God is my agent, but I, before hashtag. I say God is my agent, I would always say God is my GPS. Yes. So. There you go. So then you you, you go in full time acting, yes. and um, you, you've been you've been doing a lot. Like yeah. talk about all the things that you've done so far. Sent that email. 
a bunch of people reached out, hey, and gave me resources. One person specifically was like, let me connect you with my old acting manager. Okay. And we had a meeting. She liked me, started working immediately. Within 30 days of me sending that email, I booked my first national television commercial. Easy, breezy, national TV commercial. Check. In the bank. Boom. (laughs) And it was so over the top was the thing. Even now when I think about it, I've booked so many commercials Uh since then. This commercial was really over the top, and I know God did this because mm-hmm. he was he needed to show me, you right. know? And so, like, I mean, they flew me to Miami. They oh, put me up in the thing. W, you know? They would not let me walk. When I was on set, I was like, I'm going to go to the store right here. The store is like maybe 10 feet. Mm-hmm. We'll drive you. I'm like, it's right. There. <laughs> They're like, well, we can't have anything happening to you. We need to be. And I was like, so y'all just gonna treat me like I'm Beyonce? Yes, you thought you were Beyonce. Okay, oh, it's good. It's you know, good. right? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we both tearing? Why are we both tearing? We're both tearing, <laughs> both tearing up. We're like, I want to be treated like Beyonce <laughs> That's for all a you day. <laughs> That's all you I hate you. <laughs> Anyway, yo, you are dumb. We're crazy. We're crazy. <laughs> oh my god, we're legit tearing up. Yes. Okay, get it together. So now, <laughs> <laughs> like legit crying, like oh real tears. Oh my god, it's all right. Yeah, all right. and then you just, there we are. <laughs> then <laughs> from acting, personality, influencer, but like, what? The, yes. How did this happen? You were like, I want to be an actor. You booked this commercial. You're like, why well, get you like Beyonce? And then. Boom, from there, it's just like... And then it was like one after the other after the other. I booked another national commercial, like, right after that. Mm-hmm. Some, and funny enough, the person who booked me for that next commercial mm-hmm. was someone that I had known and worked with many times mm-hmm. throughout my career. And that stuff started to happen, too, you know, where, like, people start to see you working, and they're like, oh, I uh-huh. see you. Let me support you. Let me hire you for this. Let mm-hmm. me do, you know, do... You know, like, people want to support you is a right, thing. Right, 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 right. Which I, did, I, I didn't think that. Oh, I, that, well, that's, I have, that's one of my questions that I'm going to go into f- for you is because like you, you're crushing it, you're doing it. And, you know, besides the panels, I mean, I just want you to share more about what you're doing before I go on to mm-hmm. connections and relationships, yes. you know, career relationships and health, yes, but girl. relationships, I mean, it. you are your gift as well as being an actress and, you know, influencer, you are like a connector. Like you really connect people. Oh, like you. you are one of those people good. that's like, Curtis, what you want to do? Hold on. Let me introduce. I mean, you will grab a person and say, "Hey, like most people have said, oh, here's from this, here's, here's this person's IG. Why don't you go and check them out? Yeah. And you know, follow them and maybe send a DM. You're like, oh, hold on, let me shoot this DM for you. Or I have had you pull me and say, you need to know this person. You should hire her. She's a great DJ. <laughs> you know, yes, like that's you are. You know, thank you. But You're like amazing many, in many, pe- many ways. Many people do not do that, and that's like such you know part of your gift and relationships and which we'll go into that. But I want to hear more about like the other things that you were doing, you, you know, you acting and then how did you get into like body positive and influencership? Oh, yes. And I mean, you're on every panel that has a fluent black woman, Ooh, anything. I'm I like, receive that. Uh, no, seriously. <laughs> and even funny, I'm like, are you doing someone some? Nah, not yet. Girl, next week, what flight you want? I'm like, <laughs> you know, yes. so uh, how did that come about too? Um, okay. Well, first I want to say, I feel like I, about being a connector, Mm -hmm. I do that because somebody did that for me. Absolutely. So yeah, like, I feel like that's what we're on the planet for. Um, number one, number two, what was your question just now? You said just what you were doing and like how you kind of, so acting kind of led to doing the personality and doing voiceover. And I mean, you, you're moderating panels and so everything. Um, I don't know what it is about being an actor that people think like I could because I wasn't trying to be a host, but people think they see you're an actor or maybe people just saw that in me that I could host Mm -hmm. and ask me like, hey, can you host it? So the first two things, major things that I hosted was the Great Girlfriends Conference. Mm -hmm. I hosted a panel there. And then also um, the New York, Er I'm sorry, it's not the New York Urban League, the National Urban League. Also have done stuff with New York Urban League as well. But the National Urban League Conference, they Mm -hmm. asked me to do something, which is like such a major conference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like, y'all want me? Okay. Right. You know, so those were like the first two things Someone asked me to host, mm-hmm. and I was freaked out and scared. Oh, and then obviously Samsung. 
Samsung asked oh, me. right. Just to like host the Oscar. Like that viewing. definitely happened. Right. Yes. But the first thing they asked me to do was to come and speak about overcoming your fears in that huge theater at Samsung 837. Yes, it's, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful, but it's massive when you're on that stage looking up. I know. Because you you, know. it's like all the way down. You have to look, <laughs> you up, look up into. Yeah, it's like a like bleachers. And it's, it's pretty cool. It's mm-hmm. like. Oh, y'all all just watching me right now? Right. And okay. you're there to just talk about your journey and to help people and to yeah. moderate. Look so that, that was that. Yeah. But then th- one of the highlights of my career thus far has definitely been hosting the Oscars for Samsung. And she came out looking like a whole Oscar. She <laughs> had like go from a, the She was texting me, where can I get my, my I need to get my roots done. She yes. made, so her, her blonde was gold and she just Girl. popping. She had the gold dress. For your, and I said, look at this. Can't drink in this milk. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get it together that week. You yeah. know, you, you look. I was texting though. you like, girl. It, it was it was good, <laughs> but no, I'm so proud of all the things that you're doing. And like, what what do you want to do next? As far, I mean, besides, Ooh. I mean, you're doing you're doing movies. You're doing yes, you're doing everything. I did. I shot my first movie. Um, the goals for me, I definitely want to do a voiceover. I have done a voiceover I have to campaign, say, um, so I can't say that. You've done a lot of voiceover. I want to do like a really big... So my um, there's those AT&T commercials, which uh-huh. you know the ones. I'm pretty sure that's Lena Waithe talking on those. Okay, I think so. She's doing the voiceovers. Uh-huh. I want one of those. You know what? We were just talking about, you know, just putting in the universe, writing it down, yes. manifesting, conjuring, vibrating higher. I you want you one said of those. it. You said it here. Is AT and T? Will we take T Mobile? Will we take? Sam- I can totally take- do a T Mobile. Take- Verizon. Just in case, you know what? Listen, hello. You heard yeah. it here. <laughs> now, it's such a. She has such a huge campaign, and I can't say I haven't done a campaign because I have done voiceover for a campaign. But yes. they've been like s- smaller campaigns. I mean, still like TV, radio, right. online, whole thing, but. I want one of those. I, I mean, those, those. AT and T commercials are on every five that's seconds. True. That's true. I'm like, so we, so you know, okay. So so that's know. happening next. Okay. Yeah. So that I want to do that. I want to. Um, goal is series regular on a major television show. Give me top three mm. shows that we're trying they to conjure change up. Change so much. That's fine. It can, um, it can change. Tomorrow. I love Atlanta. There's so much great. I could see you on could Atlanta. You see you on Atlanta. Thank what? you. And, and the, your body, girl? I'm just listen, saying. Where listen, are the big girls in listen. Atlanta? You know what I'm saying? They there. Like, they there. Not, just, look, y'all can't see, but her waist listen. is smaller than mine. And her it's ass not. is double than mine. It's, it's, okay. <laughs> I'm like, how did God had time a, that day? And he on had this lots of time. episode of Exaggerating. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I can see. So Atlanta, give me two more. Um... Gosh, I would love to do a period piece. So, like, I just finished watching Chernobyl on okay. HBO. Did you watch Chernobyl? No, no. Girl, devastating. Don't even do it. To okay. I mean, it's so Shoot. good, though. It's All so right. good. Um, or, like, um, When They See Us is also a period piece in, okay. in a certain sense. So, like, that just... That was, that was amazing. Was mm-hmm. Such a phenomenal, yeah, yeah. phenomenal Ava, series. She's our queen, and that's it. <laughs> I, I, try, I knew it was going to be devastating to watch that, mm-hmm. and I tr- really tried to prepare myself. But I did. Yeah, I mean, everyone, you know... There's no way to prepare. The, the great thing is that everyone's prepping people about how to watch it. It's like, okay... The next day, you know, try to refrain from being around a lot of people, you yes. know, or, mm-hmm. you know, if you're going to, if you know that your spirits are super low, don't watch it. Like be at a place where you, you feel okay, you know, take yeah. breaks, yeah. have a glass of water, a glass of wine. Like, yeah. you know, so at least everybody's like, you know, coaching people to like get through it. Yeah. But yeah, that it was, it was, it was done. It was crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I can see you. I, see, I, I, I love hope you receive these blessings. I receive I it. Thank you. Catch it. Catch it, girl. Let me catch it. Let me catch it. Wait, you real, talking about? You real Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So let's go into relationships We're because you are, yes, we are. Um, you, you are the connector. You are a person who truly, I believe that like you hone relationships. You hone relationships. You are the person that like. You can get a group of 10 people at a table and you will make sure that everyone can help everyone at the table. Oh, wow. I mean, that is you. So, like, That's how nice. do you manage these, like, great relationships? Like, if I say, oh, you know, V, they're like, I love V, you know? It's not like, 
oh yeah, 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 I know Laval. And they're like, like I know C. Devon. <laughs> they're like, oh, I love her. Too. She's so great. Like, what are you doing to like, <laughs> is it just you were born this way or like you really had you know, a moment where you were like, I have to coach these relationships. I have to cultivate them. Like, what did you do to create such a great group of, you know, friends, circle, you know? Oh, man, that's so awesome. Well, for one, I believe that your friends are a reflection of you. Mm -hmm. So I, and and like, where I am now, I've Mm -hmm. definitely had to prune my friendship circle you know I've had to get rid of certain things and not spend certain time around but Mm -hmm. I I believe that you know you are a reflection of those people you are birds of a feather do flock together so I um I when I meet people it's very much you know based on a spirit thing like if I'm my spirit feeling your spirit girl you know that's that sad she's like I don't feel good I gotta go right (laughs) Right? Something is telling me. Something is telling me. And in and, and the past, I have ignored some of those signs. Mm-hmm. So, you know, definitely the sign hit me in the face. And I'm like, oh, Listen. Yo, let me move this sign, you know. Well, that that's probably the more uh, relationship aspect. So, you can, you know, because you, you've done so good with your friends, a reflection of you. But, like, as far as dating is concerned, where where, where we at with that? I mean, we are living. <laughs> Hey, single. <laughs> oh, oh, in the 2019 yeah. world. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's hard out here. Um, are you taking applications? Are you just working on yourself? What are you doing? And how are you managing I'm or balancing that? Some ap- I will be taking applications. Okay. How some ever, you know, we're, I'm very clear on um, the requirements for the job okay. at this point. Yeah. What are your requirements? Give, give me some requirements. Real Girl. Real. It give, might, me, give me like two. It <laughs> might sound a little crazy. Listen. But you know it is what it is. So if anybody is listening and you... <laughs> 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 okay, you know, feel free to apply. Um, we'll, I'll put my Instagram. Was, we'll, we'll link my Instagram. Mm-hmm. You know, you can slide in my DMs. I do answer the the DMs. I do. My DMs are dry, dude. Like I do not. I don't people. believe. That. I had one guy slide in my DMs, and that was a big old mistake. Like I, I don't, I don't get people sliding in my DMs, and don't start. Well, what does that mean, <laughs> though? What does the slide in the DMs mean? Like Just, okay, uh, I mean like a real slide. Like they're like, hey, I love it. You know, because it can't just be like. Yo, I want to take you out to dinner. Oh, yo, you're so pretty. You got to be like, you know, the real sly, like, yeah. hey, uh, uh, you know, I saw you at this gig. You know, you look really good or I like your music. Because, I mean, they have to, okay. like, grab you. Because you're not going to answer a DM that's like, you know, a dick pic or anything. You're oh, make, we don't I do mean, those. it depends what day you're having. However, <laughs> you know, but a real sly in your DMs. Mm. So I just don't get those. But, okay, but you don't mind sliding in the DMs. Well, I don't get crazy sliding in the DMs. Okay. I get very much like... Queen, <laughs> <laughs> which I love. I'm like, I'm so glad. People. And I'm like, you call me, I'm gonna punch you dead in your face. I love it. I'm like, don't do because it. Because anybody who knows me or anybody who's dated me, I mean, I am a queen for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just not that girl that's like, you know, I'm not like, I'm definitely, I am, you know, burning essential oils and, and incense too. I am also doing that, but I'm okay. also not that girl. You okay, know? okay. In all of the senses of the world. But that's how they slide in my DMs. They'd okay. Like, Queen, Queen. Uh-huh. you Go are ahead. so beautiful and blessed. Uh-huh. And, you know, it's always something about God. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, that's the dirty, the dirty slide. The dirty slide. The mm. cha cha slide. You gotta watch them. You gotta watch them. <laughs> hey, you know, because God just told me to just say sons, get out of here. I, I haven't I'm had like, those. I don't know, but I'm just. I'm not even trying to manifest that. I don't want that. But I mean, if they, that's how people slide, I mean, that's how you would prefer someone slide. Like they say, "Little God," they call you queen. What? What? what how can we slide I mean, in your DMs? Give me an example. I don't mind the queen. I'm like, yeah. Don't mind the queen. I'm like a little guy, Jesus. Okay, yes. and then you're little- well. So my requirements okay. right now are like, you gotta love Jesus. That's really number one. That's specifically. Real. That's real. I understand there are many things, many mm-hmm. people, many uni- you know, we believe in many things. There's a universe, we got Buddha, uh-huh. we got Jesus, mm-hmm. we got a whole bunch of stuff, you right. know? 
for me specifically, mm-hmm. I need you to believe in Jesus. What if he's like, I just don't go to church, but you know, I grew up, you know, Christian, but mm-hmm. I don't, I don't go to church. I just don't believe. No, no, in no. It. I need you to have an active, real relationship with Jesus, right? Ooh, you no, sound like that. That's what, you know. At the end of church, I need. Do you have an active? Yes. <laughs> have you spoken to him lately? <laughs> okay. For real. Okay. Okay. So he got. He got to be a Christian. Okay. He has to be a Christian. An active Christian. An don't active be, Christian. So he you can't, can't be like be. streaming church like for the streaming last six church months is, is active I, okay i, I, think I just want to know is is i mean i like, stream sometime you know my thing is like do you have christ consciousness okay that's really okay. what it is it's right. like you know has is is are you in a relationship with jesus is mm-hmm. he helping you change yourself into the best version of yourself okay. you i know? like that that's, i like that that's what we need not you thinking you're doing it but like is he okay. right because you could be in church all day long and jesus don't even know oh, you like that you know what I'm i know some of them people <laughs> she's like who he said, what? Don't be calling on me. I don't know him. <laughs> I don't even know him. For real. So yeah. then what's another one? I need to be physically attracted to you. <laughs> okay, let's talk about that real quick because, like, I, I don't have, like, a, a necessary type. I don't think I have a type. Mm. But, like, I have dated guys who I think, in hindsight, after I don't like him anymore, I'm like, oh, my gosh, you were not that attractive. Yeah. You know? I have, too. But Confused. I'm like, oh, I felt so good. I just, it was something about him. Like... It's just, you just care. Like, they have to have a physical aesthetic that's, like, decent. Mm-hmm. I just mean that I need to be physically attracted to you in the sense that maybe you are ugly and everybody else in the world can see that you ugly. <laughs> but to me, I am so physically attracted. Like, I'm just like, yes. Mm-hmm. You know, when I see you, I'm just like, mm. Right. All right. Gotcha. So it's, also I need the, that. it's the, the physical and the feeling. Okay. I need some physical. Cool, cool, attraction. cool. Okay. So we're sliding in DMs. We're doing all that. Mm-hmm. So and you're and how are you dealing with being single? You're just kind of like more trying to you're actively going on online dating, or you're just like, you know what, if it comes, it comes. And you feel ready. I am doing some online dating. Okay. Where do you swipe on? Girl, you know are you what? On, are you on the Bumble? <laughs> I'm on Everyone's the Bumble. Everyone's on the Bumble. Like the I Bumble's am. very popular. I have been on the Bumble for mm-hmm. a while, for years. I actually have gone on dates with guys from Bumble, like maybe two. Any bad ones? Ooh, any bad dates from any, Bumble? Just give me, do you have any like one online date that was just like, is bad? I don't think I have actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What happened was... It wasn't a bad date, though. I actually liked him, which speaks to who I was at that time. Listen, that, that's a real story, because sometimes you'd be like, what the heck I was... I, I had to get my it. stuff together, because right, 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 I, right. was, I was liking it. Mm-hmm. I matched with a murderer on Match.com. Fucking A. <laughs> How did you find out he was a murderer? Good old Google. Like, okay, no, no, no. I, I I need more. Wait, like you saw like the, he was in a newspaper or like his mugshot came up or like yeah, what? Yeah, there are articles online about the murder. <laughs> did, you, did you ask him about it? Or like what? What, like, like, what was laughing. the case? It's so ridiculous. Was it like he killed like, you know, a cat, a dog, like no, somebody's no, no. mama? Like he, what? It was a whole person. Okay, so there was some, I will say this. Okay, let me just tell you what happened. So I don't know why this is this, probably the spirit of God. It was like Google him, right? <laughs> I don't know why I googled that man, and, and that's all of our friends. Like, girl, did you Google him did yet? You Google him? <laughs> I googled him, and randomly, because he had a weird name. You know that who it was? saves lives. Ooh, yes, listen. It does. I did I. You can't be. You cannot be dating girl, Mike. Michael I told Williams. you I almost showed up to some guy's wedding that I dated. I was supposed to DJ because he had a weird name. Listen, those names will say, I'm like, this name sound real familiar. They helped me to I DJ this guy's wedding. wedding. I dated this guy last year. No bullshit. True story. Girl, don't go to the wedding. weird names, they will save your life, okay? Or, or, or put your life or in put danger your life in- if you go into the wedding, child. Well, look, I didn't go. Oh, well, I was hallelujah. Like, What's, no, 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 no. Let me look up. <laughs> Let me look it up. <laughs> so anyway, you look at, and then you see everything. So what happens when you actually, oh. like, find out? Yeah. You just were then like, I saw everything. Blah. I was at work. Jesus. So, you know, I got to tell, I'm, me, I'm telling all my damn coworkers. I'm like, oh, oh that's God, me. You said it's sad. Girl, everybody, now I'm going to come to my desk. We all over, over the laptop. Jesus. Like, <laughs> what? And then I remember my one friend who was still my friend to this day. She was like, well, we read the story. Wait. She was like, 
I think it's kind of sexy. <laughs> Yo, I was just about to say, there's going to be that one friend who's like, yes. well, what did he do? She was girl, like, girl, that was 20 years ago that he murdered his, you know, his No, sister. she was straight up like, that just means he would protect you. I was like. Get the fuck. Or hmm. strangle you. Or kill me in my sleep. Right. You know? Oh, my. So, so, okay, the, so you just stop, you block? Like, well, the story was. I did not just stop and block. I didn't because this is a reflection of who I was at the time. Right, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, Now it does, you know, I get a bad vibe or anything. I'm just like, oh, Mm -hmm. can't do it. Um, But so the story was that he he had started warming up his car in front of his house and left the, you know, the keys so the car would warm up. Mm -hmm. And a guy tried to steal his car. Oh, okay. He runs outside mm-hmm. and catches the guy, mm-hmm. jumps in the other car seat, br- drags the guy out the car, and proceeds to beat him to death. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, hmm. which is crazy. So, it wasn't, so it's tech. What, so I'm surprised he didn't get self defense though, because no, he didn't go to jail or anything. Oh, he did not go to jail. He just so it was self. It was a self defense. Probably case. was a self defense case. But oh. at, at the end of the day, I thought he like shot someone, oh, so no. he was protecting himself, and he got a little too. Well, I crazy. don't know that he was protecting himself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, that's not that thing. Uh, crazy. Because the thing is, like, what you got to do, and it was like an older guy, I believe, it, or it and it probably was like, a crackhead too. It that's a like, thing. Yeah, it was like but somebody that it was that was that was a bad day. You know, you punched him one time, he probably was out. You don't you, know what day people were having, man. <laughs> he was like, I don't ever. And he won't yeah. Dang, I'm sorry. So well, then I told him, I, how did I tell him? I tried to be slick about it and tell him, <laughs> and that didn't work. He was just like, just he, tell me, yeah, because I mean, he's been he's been through that. that exactly. Before. He uh-huh. he knew that I knew at that point, and he was just. And then we got into his background, and then there were other things, and he had been shot, and so and so had shot so and so, and I was like, oh, that juju is running God. deep. Yeah, that's oh, like God. one thing. You're like, okay, let let me see. If, he was you know, really good looking. Of course, he was good looking. And but I, you know what? Uh, I was about time. to let me keep it PG thirteen. <laughs> I was like, of course he was good looking, and you know, and you know <laughs> of I course. And then that. he's like, I hadn't sampled, so <laughs> thank God. Girl, like, let me get that murder peen real quick, cool. girl. Uh-uh. <laughs> it was killer. No, just kidding. That's not. Funny. That's not up. <laughs> anyway, sure. anyway, 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 we have to wrap up the show soon. So, all right. Let's go into your mental. Like, okay, I can't even do a good segue to that because I'm just like, yo, you were stupid. <laughs> okay. Mentally. Mentally. Where are you at now? Like, you're dating mm. yourself and you're doing well in your career. Um, mentally, health-wise. I mean, yes. you're a, a spokesperson for being healthy and positive. You have your green juice right here. I do. Skin's glowing. Really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I have been yes. working on my skin because my skin has been trying. Yes, me, me, me too. Me, me too. Okay. Like you, look, you, drink, like you look like you're drinking water, minding your business. I am. Putting coconut oil on. I am. Mentally, how are you feeling? How Physically, how are you feeling? Um, I am in a good space. I feel so happy and excited every time I really get to practice self-care okay. and take care of myself. Mm-hmm. You know, it really just makes me happy that I take care of myself the way I do, do you Just by, by yourself or do you like to do it in like a group? Or you're I'm cool like, with a group and you know, like mm-hmm. we've worked out together and right. stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I go to the spa with my mom, my sister, so that's fun. But I'm just really excited about how much I've, I have see that I love myself in an active way because we Mm -hmm. talk about self-care and all of those things Mm -hmm. but like what are the active practices that we can do you know like and it's beyond going to the spa it's how you talk to yourself every morning okay yeah like casting out those negative thoughts when those negative thoughts come I'm like "Uh uh-uh yeah, no, not today. Ah, we ain't not doing that. Today. You know what I'm saying? And also, you, Sorry, that's probably a really weird sound. <laughs> <laughs> that was my kung Wait. fu voice. And also, you're big on putting like post its on your, your I mirror am. and stuff, right? Yes. Put like, my little mental notes. Mm-hmm. Like, you the bomb, girl. And your booty's popping. And your booty's popping. Look at that poppin'. ass. Look at that ass. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look at that girl. Okay. okay, so at the end of every show, I like to do like um, emoji. So this time we're going to have. Yeah, so it's like um, I pick an artist. So we have Beyonce as our artist, right? We get to do, you know, 
the sad, like, you know, Beyonce, like her sad face, like it's not really, you know, in that space. We have the shady Beyonce who just gave the shade at the mm-hmm. basketball game, the, that one. And then we got like happy Beyonce when she sees like the twins and okay. blue. So we go into your career. Like, how do you feel about that? Like, give what Beyonce emoji what would Beyonce you give? Do I feel about my career? career? Mm-hmm. Um, it's yeah. Is that is that is that the the happy one? The happy that's one. That's her. Ha- I feel like her happy is never like overjoyed. <laughs> we were just talking about that. Right? We're like, she's gonna give you like. It's like she's not gonna be like. She's you never know. yo. It's right. very rare. You right. never see that. She's very like. Yes, there you go. Yes, hi. Hello. That's how I okay. feel about my All right, so right now. That's, that's, that's fair. You're doing it, sis. We good. Good, good, this good. Is, this is, we on, you know, we, we climbing. Right. We so working. What about your relationship? Oh, shade. Let's break that down because, I mean, I feel like with your friendships, you're just oh, flourishing, you're glowing. But we, we can just go straight into dating relationships. Dating. What do you, yes. how you feel Why about? Why do we do that? When people say relationships, you automatically think. You think like, Guys, yeah, guys or opposites or whatever a sex that you're attracted to yeah but uh we'll go there because i feel like you know you, you just you're a connector like that you yeah, that's your gift <laughs> but as far as opposite date you know yeah. dating someone that you are attracted to it's definitely the face um the, the shady face at the, the basketball shady at the game the basketball game that was very mm-hmm mm-hmm <laughs> you, you see how like, she, she oh, did she, de- she definitely went into it and then went like a hey sis hey. she did the church like the church yes. hey girl how you doing yes. her, her potato salad is trash <laughs> right <you know? laughs> how is that and then mentally yes, physically <laughs> right right and then mentally and physically mentally and physically um i am in those rare photos where you see beyonce really happy when jay z picked her up uh-huh. in the hotel lobby mm-hmm. and she's like right <laughs> Right. Very well, rare. You got to search bad angle because in the she's, Google she, yes, for you those. Have to you got to really those. search for those. Beyonce, I want you to be happier in public. The <laughs> beehive wants you to. We do. But yeah. Oh my we goodness. You, I could talk to you all day. Like you I, are yes, hilarious. We could do this all day. But we're going to wrap up the show. So any pointers <laughs> that you would give people? I mean, I had questions and um, emails I wanted to go through, but we'll oh get goodness. to another day. Okay. Um, because I'm still laughing at the killer penis. Like I'm going to be laughing about that. <sighs> oh, <Killer penis>. <laughs> like <laughs> it was a killer in more ways than one. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking about another one. Oh, we'll no. talk about that later. <laughs> we'll talk about that. It was a pastor. There was a Lord. pastor I dated um, on from an online thing too. He was a master. What happened? When he was crazy. He okay. was crazy. Good Lord. Anyway. Anyway. And I believe he was a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely drove like a Bentley or something. It was very and he strange. Had a, he had a storefront church and he drove a Bentley. He didn't have a church. <laughs> he was just doing, you know, he what? was going from church to church, doing a sermon here and yeah, there. Yeah, he was pushing weight. Okay, yeah, listen, child. I can't with you. We'll do it offline. Anyway, <laughs> uh, V, how can what? he find you? Oh, Give us your social media. You can find me on Insta. That's mm-hmm. where I am most active. Mm-hmm. It's Raval Davis, R A V A L Davis, D A V I S. Okay. Thank you for coming on today, Thank you for sharing your career, me. relationships, love, killers, and all in between. <laughs> 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 all right. So thanks for tuning in to Music Men and My Mental. I'm DJ C. Devone. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow, yes. do everything. Give us an email. It's at musicmenandmymental at gmail. With any topics you want to discuss and share. Um, and that's it. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. Later.